Today, we are tackling a question I get a ton, and it is what type of SD card do I need to work with my GoPro camera? There's a simple answer to this, which is what I give you when you ask this in the comments, and that's go to GoPro's website and look at their recommended and supported SD cards. They've got a great little table, and it shows you SD cards they've tested and certified to work with all the different GoPro cameras. The longer answer is that if you dig through GoPro's manuals for all the different cameras, they'll give you a specification for the certification on the SD card that you need to work with the different cameras. And this specification is generally a lot lower than their recommended SD card. So if you just want the bare minimum basic SD card that's going to work and going to be able to record all the different settings and all the different resolutions of your GoPro camera, then stay tuned because we're going to go through exactly what you need to look for in every different SD card for every different GoPro camera. Before we dive into that though, it's important to understand the classification system that SD cards use as it's super complicated and dumb. So there's three different speed classes. So there's the speed class, the UHS speed class, and then there's the video speed class. And this is a new one. And every SD card is gonna have markers from probably all three of these, or at least one or two of them written on it. So it's a really good idea to understand what these mean and where they overlap so that when you go to the store to buy an SDD card, you know what you're looking for and what's just marketing wank. So starting with speed class, this is probably what you're most used to. This is the class two, class four, class six, and class 10 cards. And you'll see these written on SD cards with little circles around them, just like that. And they correspond to the speed at which you can write to the card. So this is two megabytes per second writes, four megabytes per second writes, six and 10 megabit per second, or megabyte per second write speeds. Then we have the UHS speed class. And this you will see as a UHS-1, which corresponds to a class 10 card. And sometimes you'll see this written on the SD card as a U with a little one inside it. And then there's a second UHS speed class, and that's the UHS-3, written as a U with a three in it on SD cards. And that corresponds to a 30 megabit per second sustained writes. And then we have the new class, the video speed class. And this one is denoted as a V. So this starts with a V6, then there's a V10. Again, it corresponds to a speed class of 10. There's a V30, a V60, and finally a V90. So this is a very basic understanding of the speed classes and how they overlap. Now, just because some card is a class six does not necessarily mean that it meets the standards of a V6. This is where it gets a little bit confusing. They're tested in different ways and they do sort of mean different things. But as a broad overview, you'll see class 10 cards certified as UHS-1 cards. And that means that they'll probably be good enough if you require a V10 card. Now. Someone is gonna take offense to that because the systems are more complicated than that, but for a layman's understanding, you've got speed, you've got three different speed classes for whatever reason, why we don't just have fucking class 30 and class 60 and class 90 cards, I don't know. But these are the three different speed classes. You've got speed classes, where you have class two, class four, class six, and class 10 cards. You've got UHS speed classes for UHS-1 and UHS-3. And now you've got new video speed classes. You've got the V6, the V10, the V30, the V60, and the V90. And these cards here are going to be really, really spendy. For GoPros, we're gonna need to stay around this area. So now we're gonna dive into what you need for each different camera. We're gonna go way back and start with the original HD Hero. This camera requires at least a class four SD card and it can be any size up to a maximum of 32 gigabytes. This trend continues for the Hero HD Hero 2, which supports up to a 32 gigabyte SD card. However, now it must be a minimum of a class 10 card. For the Hero 3s, 
it was a maximum SD card size of 64 gigabytes. And again, those cameras required a class 10 card. For the Hero 4s, both the black and silver, you could have up to a 64 gigabyte SD card, but it needed to be, again, either a class 10 or a UHS-1 certified card. For the Hero 5, you need either a Class 10 or UHS-1 card, and you can have a card up to 128 gigabytes in size. For the Hero, and that specification also applies to the Hero 5 session. For the Hero 6 Black, according to the manual, you only need a SD card that's classified as a Class 10 or a UHS-1 card. However, According to GoPro's recommendation sheet, they recommend you use at least a card that's either a UHS-3 or a V30 standard. And, re and after I tested the actual speeds at which the Hero 6 can record to its card, this makes sense. In my testing, if you're recording at 60 FPS in 4K, you're going to be getting really, really close to sustained write speeds of 10 megabytes per second. So getting a slightly faster card is going to make your life just a little bit more, e just a little bit easier and probably also a little bit more reliable in case for whatever reason the SD card you've got doesn't quite meet that 10 megabit per second sustained writes. So if you've got a Hero 6 and you're going to be always recording at that maximum, um, 4K at 60 FPS, I would recommend getting something that's not class 10, stepping that up to a UHS-3 or a V30 spec, maybe even higher if you've got the money to support it. But um, if you're not shooting at either 4K 60 then or um, 2.7K 3x4 at 30, you're probably going to be okay getting away with a class 10 card as most of the resolutions that you shoot on your GoPro camera write at around five to seven megabytes per second, well within the tolerance of a class 10 SD card. With that out of the way, it's time to talk about the size of SD cards you need. This is basically determined based on two factors, the resolution that you stand tend to shoot at and how you shoot. So, I shoot now in very, very small bursts. So a 64 gigabyte card can get me through basically a week long trip shooting a little bit here and there because I rarely shoot a video clip that's more than two or three minutes long because I find that it takes a lot less space on my drive and it makes editing a lot easier. But if you're the type of person that likes to shoot long, uh, hour long videos and you like to be able to shoot a lot of them, then you are gonna be wanting to get a larger SD card. Resolution also plays a big difference. If you shoot 1080p 30 all day, you're gonna get about double the record time of somebody that's shooting 4K 60. So I've put together a little spreadsheet. You can find it linked down below, SD card record times. And that's got a list of the different bit rates that a GoPro camera, a Hero 6 in this case, will shoot at and the corresponding record times you can expect to get with different size SD cards. Personally, I find that a 64 gigabyte card is a really nice usable size card. They're not that expensive. They're a pretty sweet spot in uh, size per or storage per dollar. And beyond that, if you shoot more footage than that on your onto an SD card, why haven't you offloaded it yet? Like that's a lot of data to keep on a single SD card that's prone to failure or getting lost or getting broken, like offload it. I guess the only reason to take a larger SD card than that, either a 256 or a 128 gig card, would be if you were planning on only taking your camera and not having any way of offloading footage for an extended trip of some kind. SD card size is up to you, but the speed at which the cards record really is not. As long as you're getting something that's UHS-1 or class 10 or better, you're gonna be okay with the majority of GoPro cameras. The other trick here is to stick to name brand SD cards as their quality control is going to be better. Either Lexar or SanDisk, all of those guys make great, great cards. If you look on Amazon, there's a couple of links down below, but there's always sales on these things and they're always cheap. I generally pick up a Lexar 64 gig class 10 UHS-1. I think there's three six, or 633 time read cards. I get those online in two packs for, well, 
a reasonable amount of money. They seem to be a fairly good deal, especially compared to buying them in the store. But hopefully this gave you enough information to not feel completely lost when you go shopping for your next SD card for your camera. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what SD cards you use for your cameras. But most of all, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.